Hello and welcome to Credit B Presents Bold Diaries. Hi there, my name is Danish Seth. Welcome to another episode of Credit B Presents Bold Diaries. And today with me, the man that all of us have been just waiting for this season, Glenn Maxwell. <music> Maxi, life is about ups and downs, but for you in the last six months, so much has happened. You've just been on a high. You finished with RCB, went and won the World Cup, then got married as well. Congratulations on everything. Talk us through it. What must it be like to be on a constant high for six months? Well, there's certainly been some ups and downs through that. It's <laughs> been um, it's been a busy time as well. Finishing the World Cup, straight into the BBL, um, still feeling the highs and highs from that tournament, obviously the disappointment of not quite doing the job with RCB before that, so it was, there was plenty going on over the last six months and then getting married um, over the last few weeks was, was pretty amazing and all the planning that sort of went into it and the timing of it, there's still cricket going on around the world and I suppose late pullouts with COVID and all that sort of thing right. and, and different protocols, but great week or two and um, yeah, certainly glad to be here now and all the stress is over and I'm um, looking forward to getting stuck in now. Need money for celebrations or for emergencies? Presenting Credit B. Loans anytime, anywhere. So you walked in and all of us looked at you and went, Wow, Maxi is still so fit. How have you managed to just keep it all together amidst all these things that have been happening in your life. Well, I'm glad I look fit. I don't, I don't exactly feel I haven't really done much over the last few weeks. It's right. been, I suppose I played a couple of games for Victoria at the back end of the season, and then uh, there wasn't really much cricket at all about just sort of preparing to get married and um, concentrate on that, pull my focus into that, um, and really enjoy those couple of weeks. And I was, I was looking forward to getting over here. I know um, I had a week from when I landed to the first game that I was playing, so I wanted to use that as preparation time and and know that I can um, get myself up to match ready for that first game and, and I, I just can't wait for the night to get back out there with the guys. So you're one of uh, India's favourite Aussie sons. We've just adopted you and now you've become a son-in-law as well. I mean, for the fans, for all of us, what was the wedding like? We saw some pictures on Instagram <laughs> and videos, they looked beautiful. It was pretty incredible. Um, I suppose I, I went into it not knowing what to expect and I, I wanted, to be, wanted to keep it that way. I, her parents wanted to show me videos of her sister's wedding and all the little things that we do during the ceremony to, to be new to me. I don't want to sort of go in there with any expectations and it, it was awesome. It was, a, it was amazing, amazing for Vinny to, I suppose, have her traditional wedding and, and for her family to um, be so heavily involved and, and they, they loved it. They had a great time and it was a pretty hectic week or two so, um, as I said, it's it's a stressful time, but it's, yeah. it's also an amazing time. So we're, we're glad we did it, but we're also glad it's over. Last year, the end of IPL, you did an interview where you said you made some dietary change and that helped your game a lot. What was the change? There was some switch that flipped. I was worried because the comfort of eating at home and uh, we started cooking a fair bit together. We weren't exactly cooking the right, right. foods as well, so I, I went on just a slightly lower carb, low calorie diet, and it, it, it worked for a period of time, and um, I was able to sort of stabilize my weight and start to get a little bit fitter, and I haven't been on it since, but I've been able to sort of keep my weight a little bit more regulated, which was the long weeks of quarantine, where you're stuck isolated in a room, have probably helped me overcome those fluctuating sort of weight patterns right. that I had. I think I put on after the first leg of the IPL, I put on about nine kilos. So let's just go back in time, all right? And this portion can be in black and white. Ten let's go back in time 10 years ago, uh, let alone being such a huge part of the Indian Premier League. If someone had told you, you'd be also an Indian groom. <laughs> <laughs> it, must, it must be kind of crazy, right? In 10 years, our life's changed. Well, it shouldn't be altogether surprising because I, I, I absolutely love like yeah, I, I love the place, and I think looking back, it probably wouldn't have been a surprise. Now, sort of looking back on it after ten years, but yeah. I was very lucky to meet her in Australia when I did. Yeah, um, both of us being from Melbourne, and it's not really a shock, I suppose. I think this is my 
my 27th trip to India. Yeah. Um, so I think I've been to India more times than my wife. So right. um, you're more Indian than she is. I am, yeah, definitely. And we're pretty happy to be over here now. Uh, we're talking about new things in your life and uh, the new doesn't stop. Uh, we also have a new captain at RCB now, Faf Dupnasi. Um, there are new faces in the team and we're talking about a renewed energy to go forward and do great things uh, for the franchise and for the city of uh, Bengaluru. Um, what's that been like for you to interact with Faf? Have you been in touch with him uh, while you've been away? Yeah, I had a, had a few messages before the tournament. I, th I think. I was probably more focused on my on my wedding sort of before that, and um, knowing obviously that he was going to be captain, um, I was in touch with the with the coaches um, right throughout the auction and, and that sort of process as well. Still wanted to be heavily involved in yeah. I suppose uh, moulding our team for for going forward, and I think that was a big part of the three guys that were retained. We had to have those guys involved uh, to make sure we had the right balance going forward with that squad, and we're, we're really happy with the squad that we've accumulated and, and we're really happy with Faf at the helm. Um, we think he's going to do a great job for the franchise and um, even the way he started, you can tell he's, he's got the respect of everyone in the, in the room. Um, um, not only does he lead by example but with his, with his actions but he also performs really well. Uh, to have a guy of his quality and, and caper up, up the top of the order and leadness is, is something that's great for the franchise and, um, and hopefully the senior guys around can help him out as well so it's not just him shouldering all that work workload yeah. that we potentially have seen in, in previous years at RCB. So to have, I suppose, a solid leadership group behind him to sort of make him feel like it's just him out there having to sort of shoulder all the load. Um, hopefully we can help him out at different stages, but we're very fortunate with the squad that we've got and we, we believe it's a, it's a winning squad. Uh, we're talking about skill and talent. Let's talk about uh, the IPL that's happening right now. Um, have you been following the tournament? Um, or have you seen the team closely? <laughs> is there any youngster who excites you within RCB or in the IPL itself? I, I have been watching. I, I sort of caught the highlights a fair bit of time. In right. Melbourne, it was horrible timing. So I think the games were starting at like 1.30 in the morning. So yeah. it was a bit hard to watch. But yeah, I've been watching. I think um, Anuj Rawat, our, uh, our young... Our own, friend, yeah. Our yeah. own. He's um, obviously very exciting. What I have been really excited by was actually one of the old fellas, Dinesh Kartik. Um, oh, how good has he been? He's been awesome. Just come in, great form, old fella, still doing it. Um, <laughs> but I, I played with him in 2013 at Mumbai and um, nine years later we find ourselves back in the same change room. So to him, see him go really well and start well for us is, is awesome for us. We love having that depth in our batting order and, and he certainly gives it to us. This is Credit B Presents Bold Diaries.